In this video, I'm going to show example 1.2, which deals with the weight of a tank filled with nitrogen. Here's the problem statement. So we're finding the total weight. We've got a 17 cubic foot tank of nitrogen. The nitrogen is pressurized to 500 pounds force per square inch. The tank weighs 50 pounds fork, weighs 50 pounds, and the temperature is 20 degrees C. And we're told to work in SI units. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's how I've defined the situation. Wrote down a little bit of information about the tank. And what you want to notice here is I converted to SI units. So the weight of the tank is 222 newtons. I looked up the gas constant. This is in appendix A4. I took the volume, converted that to cubic meters. Um, on the pressure, I converted that to pascals. And you'll want to notice, you always want to label your pressure as absolute pressure. And the temperature is converted to thermodynamic temperature or Kelvin. Notice that I wrote down my assumption here. I assume the ideal gas law applies because the pressure is very high in this situation. And here's the goal. The total weight, which is the weight of the nitrogen, plus the weight of the tank. All right. Now that we've got the problem formulated, let's go ahead and generate ideas. Okay, for my first idea, the total weight is the weight of the nitrogen plus the weight of the tank. This is known. This is the problem goal. So if we can find the weight of the nitrogen, we're done. And we can use um, the Newton's law of universal gravitation. So Newton's law of gravity. To say... The weight of the N2 is equal to the mass of the N2 times the gravity constant. This is 9.81 meters per second squared. This is the goal. Now, and this is unknown, but if I can find the mass of the N2, I am done. So the next idea I have is the ideal gas law. So ideal gas law, and I'm going to write the pressure times the volume of the tank is equal to the mass of N2 in there times the gas constant for N2 times the temperature. So that's for N2. And my goal is right there, mass of nitrogen in the tank. I know the pressure that was specified. I know the volume. I know the gas constant. I know the temperature. Excellent. I am done. So here's my game plan. I can solve for the mass of nitrogen in the tank. Once I've done that, I can calculate the weight of the nitrogen. Then I can go back into this equation and solve for the total weight. In the book, you can see a summary of what I just did, how I generated ideas and made a plan. It's written out in words here. And right here is the step-by-step -step plan. Let's go ahead and go to execution. Okay, my first calculation is to calculate the mass of the nitrogen, so ideal gas law. And what you want to notice here is carrying and canceling units. Now, we don't always show the conversions in the book simply because it gets a bit cluttered. But you see, if you look at the length units, they cancel there. If you look at the temperature unit, it cancels right there. Um, let's see, the newtons cancels there. And we're left with units of kilograms. This is really good engineering practice. So the mass works out to be 19.1 kilograms. Our last two steps are to calculate the weight of uh, the nitrogen. Very straightforward. 187 newtons right here. And then the total weight, our final answer on the problem, 410 newtons. A couple things to notice. What we teach is we always just start with scientific concepts. On this one, we use the ideal gas law, and we use Newton's law of universal gravitation. And um, another tip is it really makes problem solving easier if you convert units to SI consistent units. Hope you enjoyed this example, and let's go ahead and move on to something else.